Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys some basket brawl gameplay. We're going to be showing you guys the top seven brawlers on the mode. Now seven is a little bit of a peculiar number. We don't normally do this number, but there's not really 10 brawlers that are just above and beyond the rest. There's seven that are really, really good. So I'm just going to show you guys those seven, explain what they do, what they're good at, and rank them. So that being said, let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what's up. So coming in at number seven, we have Carl. Now, Carl is a little bit more of a challenging brawler in this mode. It's not really just OP in every sense of the way like our other brawlers are, but you can do a lot of advanced shots and tricks and stuff like that, as you guys see Patchy doing right there. It's just a really good brawler at the very very op kind of trick shot type of stuff obviously because of the gadget and the super and how easy it is to get additionally he has a pretty good chunk of hp so you're actually not doing too bad when you're facing against other tanks and brawlers that are really good like gale tara ems just counters of tanks that are also played a lot in this mode carl does pretty well into because it's one of the tankier and more long range mid range brawlers now the only downfall with him is that he doesn't really have the most dps so, although he does decent damage, the DPS isn't crazy like the brawlers I just named. But it's really easy to score goals. You respawn with that one ammo and you only got that one shot that you need. So, obviously, ammo is not really a big deal with uh, with Carl. But we're going to leave him at number 7 because he's a little bit advanced and a little bit challenging to use. Unlike the other brawlers, which are very very easy to just dominate with so let's hop into number six and let's keep on going so coming in at number six we have primo now primo obviously is a good goal scorer you have a lot of hp a lot of tankiness you have your jump and you obviously recharge your super just by standing there and getting hit by shots so obviously primo is going to be pretty good in this mode it's also a really good defense because as you guys can see here you can kind of just toss people around and do your thing but it's a very strong brawler it's really good the only unfortunate part is that majority of players do play tank counters so you will see it like for example on your screen right here these three brawlers are extremely hard to actually do anything into you guys can see i'm chasing them and i'm trying to get shots off but there's not actually that much i can do so primo isn't someone that's just going to absolutely dominate but on the other hand if you get a good comp with it and you match it with other brawlers and you make it your only tank then Primo can definitely be a force to be wrecking with. Now, the one thing with Primo, though, that I would recommend is just using your super to jump around. Don't just walk around and save your super for the three-point shot because you're going to be useless if you do that. You're not going to be able to do absolutely anything. You just got to try your best. Jump on people, chain supers, do what you can. Because Primo is a very good brawler, but only if you do that, not if you save your super. Because if you do save your super, you are literally a walking health bar, and all you're going to do is feed the other team's supers and make it a 3v2. So this is going to be number six. Let's move on to number five and let's keep going. Now coming in at number five, we have Belle. Now Belle is going to be in the number five spot, not necessarily because she's just goaded in this mode, but because Belle is just a good brawler. It's really good into every brawler that's meta in this mode. And you can just run around and snipe people, get kills, and just cause an absolute havoc. Obviously, obviously you can mark the tanks and do all that stuff. And even with goal scoring, I mean, you're not necessarily going to be a goal scorer, but you charge super pretty fast. You guys can see I have super for majority of this game. So, I mean, you're definitely not hindering your team on offense. It's a really good defense. Not one of the best, but it's a really good defense. I would recommend playing it. But it's really good for your kind of mid control. If you have like a primo, a bell, and then a defense, you should basically never lose. Um, but yeah, bell's a really strong brawler. I would highly recommend playing it. It is very, very good, and it's definitely the best brawler in the meta right now, or one of the best brawlers in the meta right now. So, obviously, it can't be too bad on a mode, especially when the map is open. So, yeah, this is going to be our number five brawler. Let's move on to number four and keep going. So, coming in at number four, we have Tara. Now, Tara is just an absolute menace in this mode. You get your super so quickly, and you have it 24-7. Additionally, because the map is so close together, you're just getting double pulls over and over and over again. You're getting so much Tara value constantly that there is no worry if you even waste a pull. You should get your pull every like 10 seconds in this mode. It's that ridiculous. Fudge, nice shot, by the way. Um, but yeah, it's just one of the best defenders easily. Really good mid control as well. You guys can see it's just really easy double pulls. Um, this Gale, I mean, he's just a sharpshooter. Nothing we can do about that. Um, but Tara is just such a good brawler and you match it with something like Stu that gives it additional speed and you're just running around chaining. You guys can see how easy it is. I've hit multiple double pulls. Now I am going down, but I could, I just, I got greedy. I wanted the double pull. I could have just solo pulled, but it's just such a good brawler. 
definitely 100% recommend playing it. Now, the issue is you don't want to use your super for the shots. You need to have kind of like a designated goal scorer if you want to be playing Tara on this mode. Because the shots or the super just have so much value for killing brawlers that you don't want to waste it on shots. But this is going to be Tara. This is going to be our number four spot. I would highly recommend playing it. Also, you know, the Tara pets are just absolutely unreal. Just counter like 50% of the brawlers ridiculously hard. But with that being said, let's move on to the top three and show you guys what the top three brawlers are. Coming in at number three, we have Stu. Now, Stu is very, very good because it is just the ultimate shot maker. You have your super 24-7. You don't have to worry about wasting your super on a shot like you do with Tara or like Primo or something like that. You're just an absolute goat with the Stu. You're just running around, you know, dashing around, taking, you know, supering one place, supering the next place. You have the speed turret. You have so much mobility and everything with Stu. It's just absolutely unreal. Stu is such a good brawler on this mode. And I don't know. There's just really nothing else to say with it. You only need your one shot. You're not really, you know, needing all three shots like you do with some other brawlers. It's just such a strong brawler. You guys can see Fudge, who is a total casual, kind of just running around and dominating. Has his super 24-7. Again, nice shot by Fudge over there. But yeah, Stu is just an absolute legend of a brawler on this mode. Would highly recommend. Let's hop into number two, and let's keep going. So coming in at number two, we have Gale. And Gale, obviously, is going to be such a nuisance in this mode. It's so annoying. It is such a good brawler. Gale just absolutely dominates. It's so obnoxious facing a Gale because the Gale just pushes you back every time you want to score. It's so ridiculously good. It's just you get your knockback way too often. The jump pads are pretty decent for, you know, moving around this kind of small jointed map. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just so annoying at defense. It is so strong. It's so hard to score on a Gale. As you guys can see, Patchy gets knockback so often. And, I mean, again, the super, you getting it often means that you, ha you can use your shot. Like, you don't necessarily need to save it like Tara. But yeah, Gale is an absolute menace. I would highly recommend using Gale on this mode literally every match because it is super strong. If you want to push a rank 35, I would highly recommend doing Gale. So let's hop into number one and let's show you guys what it is. Now in the same game here for number one, we have Colette. Now Colette is just an absolute monster in this mode. It is the best defender. Knockback Colette. You need to have the star power. You need to have the knockback. Knockback Colette is just an absolute beast. You're chaining supers like it's nothing. Every super you get, you get two ticks when you're using the knockback star power. So because of that, you basically have your super 24-7. You need to hit one or two shots, and you're just chaining your super over and over and over. You don't have to save your shots like you do with Tara. You have like it's just such a good brawler in this mode. It's unreal. And you're just melting tanks, you're melting mid-range. You are so good into every single meta brawler in this mode. It is unreal. As you guys can see, majority of the top comps, if you guys are playing high ladder, are going to have Gale and Colette. These two are basically must-haves, at least on this map. I don't really know about the other maps too much. I've played it on the other maps. They seem to be very strong there. But definitely Gale and Colette are the two best brawlers in basketball. And with that being said, that's going to be it for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of like shortened list of the best brawlers on this mode. Now, I would do a top 10, but I really haven't found three brawlers that are above and beyond the rest like I have with the ones that we have here. So that's going to end the video. If you guys enjoyed, obviously like, comment, subscribe, do all of that. I will be back again tomorrow with some more Power League gameplay. I will see you guys then. Peace.